If you have a paper where you're using lots of sources, or if you want to better keep track of sources for multiple papers and projects, you can organize your EndNote web citations into groups. To create a citation group, go to the Organize tab at the top of the page and click on Manage My Groups. Click on New Group and in the pop-up window, type your group name. The name of the class your project is for or the topic of your paper would make a good name, but use whatever makes sense to you. Click OK and your new group will appear, but it won't have any sources in it yet. If this is a group project and you would like to share your sources with members of your team, you can do so by creating a shared group. Click on the Manage Sharing button next to your group name and then click Start Sharing This Group. In the pop-up window, enter the email addresses for each group member you want to share with. Then, select the permissions for your group members. Read only means that group members will only be able to view the citations you add to the group. Read and write means that group members can also add, change, or even delete citations from the group. Once you have selected your permissions, click Apply. Your group members will get a notification that they have been added to your group, and they will see the shared group appear in their own EndNote web accounts. Now you are ready to add sources to your group. If you have already imported some sources, you will see them appear on your My References tab under the All My References list. Click the Hide Getting Started Guide link in the upper right corner if it is still showing. By default, the All My References list shows you all citations regardless of what group they are in. To add to a group, click the checkbox to the left of a citation, then navigate to the Add to Group drop-down menu and select the group you want to add it to. The citation will remain on your All My References list, but now you'll also see that a reference has been added to your group on the left-hand menu. To remove a source from a group, click the checkbox to the left of the citation and then click on the Remove from Group button at the top of the group list. The citation will still be in your EndNote Web account, but now it will be in the Unfiled group, unless it's already in another group. Sometimes a source can be imported into EndNote Web from a database that has incorrect formatting or is missing important citation elements. If that happens, you can edit your references to change or add information. Click on the blue title to view all of the bibliographic fields. Click into the field to begin editing. Once you have made your edits or changes, click the blue Save button at the top of the page. If you are writing an annotated bibliography, you can use the Research Notes field located at the bottom of the fields for your annotation. Thank you for watching this video on organizing and editing citations in EndNote Web. Make sure to visit our EndNote tutorial at guides.csbsju.edu slash EndNote, where you can find more videos on setting up your account, collecting sources, and creating citations and bibliographies. If you have questions or would like additional help, remember to ask a librarian.